Moving back to Cameroon has been an experience, but one question from my viewers kept on coming back over and over again. So, let's talk about C19 in Cameroon. En ce qui concerne cette maladie, on, on a de la peine à respecter les 1 mètre qu'on demande, parce que surtout le matin, il y a de la fuyance. Si les dents nous laissent tous à la maison, de rester à la maison, on va nourrir les enfants comment nous, Il n'y a pas l'argent. Is it safe to travel? So this is a question that many have asked me so far and I'm going to do my best to answer that question based on my personal experience and my journey here in Cameroon because you guys know I've been here for one year. So let's get started with where I currently live. I do live in Douala. So Douala is the economical city of Cameroon. This is the hustle city. This is where everything is happening. Things are moving really, really fast. I'm going to show you a short clip of a travel influencer who recently came to Cameroon and her experience when she was taking cabs in Cameroon. <music> So let me explain. So as you guys can see in that short clip, she took a cab and there were so many people in that cab, really tight, really on top of each other and nobody was wearing a face mask. So the technique is called batching. That's what the cab drivers do here in Cameroon, which as you guys can see is not safe. This short clip here that I'm showing you guys is actually today. Today I was going through Aqua, which is downtown of Douala, and I had to pass through this marketplace. You guys can already see what it looks like. I mean, let me know if you find somebody wearing a face mask here. I guess you can find nobody wearing a face mask. I mean, I saw a Chinese guy wearing a face mask. <laughs> That's basically it. So, this is really the state of Cameroon. This is the state of Douala, the city where I live, the city where all the business people, you know, the entrepreneurs, people who are hustling, I be here. Okay. So now when people ask me, is it safe to come to Cameroon? My answer will always be yes. However, as long as you don't find yourself in a, you know, in a big group of people without wearing a face mask on or without having like hand sanitizer or taking your own social distancing you know um so i think everybody has their own responsibilities when it comes to you i mean protecting oneself like if you do want to protect yourself whether you have the vaccines whether you took the vaccines or not you still have your own social responsibility to take care of yourself and not put people at risk okay so do wear a face mask make sure you carry a hand sanitizer I always have one in my purse always always have one this one i think i bought it at walmart i bought those little ones like many of them <laughs> so i just drop them in all of my purses and i always have a face mask here in the car and i have other ones in my purse and i have another one here right here so anytime i go somewhere that i feel like hey there's a lot of people i always wear a face mask on but guys when you're looking at the weather in Douala, for example, it's too hot. So to wear the face mask, face mask every single day at all hours of the day is uh, it's unbearable. <laughs> Let me just put it this way. I mean, it's too hot. It's unbearable. So, but I'm not saying don't wear it. I'm saying wear it. But if I'm going to be sitting in the car, I'm not going to have it. If I'm going to be going to a restaurant where I'm socially distancing myself, I mean, guys, I'm saying it, but you guys have seen me places without a face mask, okay? I'm just showing you the realities of Cameroon. I know when you're looking at the streets or you're going to places that are really crowded, you're going to notice that people are not wearing face masks, which can be scary a little bit. However, when you go to clinics, you go to hospitals, just like this one here, I mean, wearing a face mask and having hand sanitizer is a requirement. At my primary school, children are not required to wear face masks, but teachers are. Have I ever gotten COVID? No, not yet. Um, is it possible? Definitely, it is possible. I'm not safe or I'm not immune from having COVID-19. So 
it's really up to everyone okay but if you're thinking you want to come to cameroon is it safe yes it is safe i've talked to many doctors i mean many doctors at, at this point because i know many people are stipulating that it's not real guys it is real because i know people who have been you know affected by covid i know people who have died from covid19 so yeah just you know at least you know at least you know um but i've talked to doctors and one of the doctor is actually one of my client for YGL consulting i'm supposed to do an audit in his clinic and he basically told me that the numbers are not that critical like the number are not that big compared to what the media portrays or compared to what you know other countries are experiencing the numbers are not that big but um we still have to take our own precautions as to how can we avoid that whether you want to go for vaccines whether you want to protect yourself by social distancing yourself guys i don't even go to my family members like relatives like i don't even go there you know the whole thing of going to relatives to visit them eating the food I, I don't do that and I know this is not good but I don't do that okay I can call them to say hey how is it going I can stop by real quick but I haven't yet since I've relocated back to Cameroon I haven't yet gone to an auntie or an uncle sat there with them and really like got to talk to them like it hasn't happened yet um, I'm not saying don't do it okay if you have your family members and you're close to them definitely go and visit them so this is just a personal choice i've just decided not to you know go to relatives and family members and hang out with them i've seen them because some of them have come visit me some of them i've seen them are my parents so i've seen them but there's also this whole thing i didn't want to mention it here but there's this whole thing about um people from the diaspora coming to cameroon and getting poisoned by family members by friends <laughs> like that that thing scares the heck out of me like no no i'm not gonna be like if you want to meet me we're gonna go to a restaurant and we're gonna eat there okay um because yeah i've heard so many stories about how people will come to visit and they're coming for business as well but they're coming to visit and their own sister will be the one putting poison in the food and the person will pass I've heard so many stories at this point and I think that's one of the reasons people from the diaspora are also reluctant to come because guys this is this is scary it's scary and everything has to do with with really being greedy because I think people feel like your money is their money okay if you're building this house it's supposed to be their house because you know your money is their money so they will do anything to get you out of the way and I'm just like you know I would be in my own space. I mean, family members and relatives of mine don't even, they know I'm here, but they also know I'm always traveling, going back and forth. So they don't even, I don't even think many of them know that I'm here, here, here. <laughs> and thank God they don't watch my YouTube videos. They don't even understand English. So that's good for me. But um, yeah, so it's just a personal choice. I do care about them. I've seen some of them just say hi here and there. So you will get to make your choice if you come to Cameroon. But guys, if you're asking me, should I come to Cameroon? I will always say yes, yes, yes. I know many guys, many guys, and I'm talking guys, like as a man, because many of the people that I talk to are actually men, you know? I have girlfriends, but I don't have many acquaintances, um, women acquaintances that are coming to Cameroon or investing in Cameroon. And this is something that we can change, okay, women? This is something that we should be changing. Having more women get, you know, investing in Cameroon, get involved in knowing what's, you know, the economic situation of Cameroon, the opportunities that are here, and really building their own empire. I think we need more women at the table, like for real, we need more. But 98% of the people that I interact with on the regular, whether they're people from the diaspora or people here in Cameroon, are men. So, um, many of the things that I will tell you about clients, such and such, is really men. Except if I'm talking about my bridal boutique, which only caters to women, um, that's a different ball game. But when I'm talking about business, investment, clients for uh, YGR Consulting Co., many of them, 98% of them, are men. So, yeah. Anyway. Many of them have been coming to Cameroon and they love it, okay? They've been coming back and forth. I have friends and acquaintances that have been in Cameroon for the past year or so. They've been here at least two to three, four, five times. I know a guy, I'm not going to say his name, but he's been here every two months. So in one year, I think he's been in Cameroon for like six times. <laughs> and I know another one that has been, I think he's relocating slowly, but he's been here... For the year 2021, he's been here three times already. 
and I'm not sure if he's coming back again in December, but I know he's been here three times. So people are still going to the club. People are still having fun. Um, there's still weddings, guys. I have a wedding store. Come on, I sell wedding gowns, <laughs> and people are still buying. Um, they're still celebrating. So there's no restriction when it comes to that. When you're talking about COVID, okay? So to each their own. But Cameroon is safe. You do have to take your own social responsibilities and know how to be, you know, how to take precautions when it comes to COVID-19. So there are so many institutions and so many businesses here in Cameroon that you cannot just show up like that. You do have to do the whole face mask. Um, they have hand sanitizer at the front door and they will have people on staff to make sure that, you know what, people are getting protected and they are, you know, saving life. Anyway, this school right here, the, I mean, this, this building right here is a school, it's a primary school that I went to when I was a kid. Um, I figured I should just show you guys what it looks like because I still remember I had good times. Anyway, now I'm going and I'm heading to Maison H. I just wanted to take some time off for myself. So I'm just showing you guys what the streets look like because I know many of you like when I show you guys, you know, around the city of Douala. So that's actually in Bonaparte. So we almost heading to, I mean, almost getting to Maison H. So, yeah, um, so I went there, I got some ice cream, and after that, I eventually met um, one of my clients. basically went up and down running errands meeting people and now I'm actually at the hotel because I told you guys one of my friends is flying back to the state so that's why I'm here and I'm just taking those I mean that opportunity to film myself here because <laughs> it's so beautiful guys <laughs> so beautiful I was just telling him that I need to book myself a one night here so that I can just come here do some swimming and yeah the whole thing because look at the water it's so warm it's so warm anyway Douala is really warm so the water is always going to be warm anyhow i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i really didn't have anything much to show you i wanted to show you just a little glimpse of the state of covid i mean in terms of the restriction and all of these things so that you guys can see what people look like are they really protecting them themselves are we doing social distancing and you guys saw what you saw um, I wish that I had gone other places where I could have shown you more people but guys majoritarily we not by the way there's a party somewhere there there's a wedding going on oh this is best western plus hotel so in case you guys are asking where it's right there by the airport so you can hear all the music and everything yeah it's here and just to let you know it's still safe 
for you to come visit and i wish and i hope that many of you are going to be coming to visit at least visit if not invest if not move back but at least just come to visit okay anywho that's gonna be the end of my day i mean my night <laughs> it's already 10 p.m so i'm gonna go home um give it a thumbs up like subscribe if you haven't and share with everyone that you know. I hope to see you guys next time so that we can talk about something more interesting. Anyway, bye.